Dracula Resurrection was released in 1999 by French developer Index Plus. And from the first moment on, you feel that it is hugely inspired by the 1992 gothic horror movie Bram Stoker's Dracula. Characters, moments, music, even transition effects that are used mainly in the cutscenes remind very much of the movie's style. It starts with the ending of the film and is set even seven years later, even the gap of the film to the game. Jonathan. Here Jonathan Harker has to find his fiancée Mina, who was bitten by Count Dracula, to get her out of his grasp. Therefore he has to find his way into the castle of the infamous creature. It is as well inspired by the game Myst that sold 6 million copies and used first person look around mechanics in an adventure game where you had to solve riddles or to get machines to work. Here the mechanics were integrated smoothly into the game and you really had a feeling of being inside the scene and some kind of realistic orientation feeling. Together with the atmospheric sound, this created a dark, thrilling vibe and you felt that you could be attacked by vampires anytime, although you cannot even die in the game or do something so wrong that you would have to reload to finish it. Most of the times you search the screen for objects you can either take or interact Get with or persons you can talk to. Objects have to be used on the right spot and very often it is important to talk to someone about a special topic to go on in the game. It is said that their gold is cursed. The character animations were great, overdone but adding to the atmosphere and especially the cutscenes were giving so much to the whole game that was neither that hard nor that long concerning classical adventure games that always forced the player to think around the corner. You never had too many objects at the same time. You things will disappear if not necessary anymore and the puzzles were more like use an object at the right time on the right spot. So try every object or search all screens. But the one thing that really sold it besides the creepy atmosphere were the cutscenes and you really had a lot of them. First those little ones like going up and down, opening a drawer or the machines that suddenly start work or change like in modern day puzzle games like The Room or House of Da Vinci. That was already there and it always adds to the satisfaction you have when you solve something that this transforms or a new room door opens. And there were those big film-like cutscenes that really pushed the adventure forward, told the story and built up the characters and the thrill. And Dracula Resurrection had plenty of them. And now is not the time to play with my prey. This together makes the game an enjoyable play even today and I really had fun doing it again after nearly 25 years and felt entertained all the time. No wonder it was a huge success that sold over one and a half million copies together with Dracula 2 the sequel. Yes, that is somehow the only thing that was not really satisfying. That there was no definite ending. It was over and Mina was not saved, Dracula was alive and we only managed to get her out of the castle. So a second part was always the plan. Maybe the limited time of development of only 8 months explains the rather short adventure game or why neither the ending was completely resolved or a lot of puzzles simply needed the use of a dragon simple ring chain that unlocked several doorways, passages or machines just like this would stand for a puzzle that was once meant to be be implemented but finally left out for time issues. Besides that, 
it is definitely a very entertaining adventure game has a great atmosphere and if you once played it or like games that are similar you should definitely give it a try but be careful on steam most people state that this is a recreated version missing most cutscenes and that the puzzles can be solved simply by clicking on them i found an original version on gog in a triple pack with regular two and three that is regularly sold at ten dollars but on sale should be around two so have fun with it i will add the intro sequence and the complete gameplay in the following weeks For all the men on this earth this time and with the help of god we will definitively destroy the monster i swear it